Hello, this is Thomas with rccam.com with an update on the Mustang Instrument Cluster project. In front of us we have a 2009 Mustang Cluster and off out of camera view is the Arduino processor which has a couple of CAN bus shields attached to it. Uh, there's two CAN bus ports that are required to control this instrument cluster. One's for the medium speed bus and the other one's the high speed bus and they are um, accessible on a there's a big connector on the back side of the cluster and that's how we're getting connections to it up on the monitor I have the uh, serial terminal window open up that'll um, you might be able to see the commands I'm typing in um, maybe not doesn't really matter just pay attention to the instrument cluster uh, first thing we should do is let's brighten up the display so that's the backlight command so that's a BL and we're going to go to 100, so BL100. And there we go. We got a much brighter display. And let's go a little faster. We're doing 20 miles an hour right now, so let's go to 90 miles an hour. That's pretty fast. Go ahead and we're going to slow down to 60. Don't want to get a ticket. There we go. All right, and we can uh, also play with the tachometer. Uh, let's go ahead and change the tack to 6500. Redline that beast. Okay, we're redlined. Tack rev is going back down to 2500. And we can turn off oil pressure. Let's do that. That'll give us a warning about low pressure. Okay, we better fix that. We don't want to ruin the engine. All right, much better. And we can change the temperature. Um, coolant temperature is right now in the middle. Let's go ahead and uh, cause a failure of the engine. We're going to burn that mother up. Got ourselves uh, some red gauges now because we're heated too high. So let's go ahead and change that back down to about 50%. There we go. Um, oh yeah, let's go ahead and try a turn signal. We can turn to the right. Let's turn that off. Maybe we'll go left. Turn to the left. Let's just go ahead and uh, turn off the signals. So that pretty much uh, shows off the functionality of the instrument cluster. I believe I have all the arbitration IDs figured out, so I'm I can I control I think everything that's available in the instrument cluster. There's a couple of uh, loose ends I got to clean up, but other than that, I'm ready to move on to the final project, which is a bookcase display of this instrument cluster. That'll have a it'll be fully functioning with uh, all sorts of really cool features to show it off. And I'll continue blogging about the project as things get accomplished there'll be an update so if you wanna watch the progress then you uh, just feel free to visit the website and read the blog I guess that's about all I have to tell you today you have a great one bye